And uh, we've got all the lovely folks from Twitch and YouTube hanging out with me. Uh, we played the first little bit of this game, and I'm excited to continue our adventures because this game is gorgeous. Like, I mean, not gorgeous in the pretty sense, just gorgeous in the the graphical sense, if that makes any sense at all. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, let's carry on with our adventures. We're going to get to do one of these... Oh, look at this. It's got bends in it, too. Wow. You don't see that very often. So we're going to go ahead and yank out all of these things. And get ourselves into whatever this is. This is, of course, made by 5BN Games. And uh, I really like their, uh, their style. The New York Mystery Series is one of my all-time favorites. And I like this uh, Darkness and Flame because it's got that nice mixture of dystopian future and fantasy. It's really good. And there's our morphing objects. Don't forget to shout those out when you spot them. So how am I going to get this? So we need something to cut. Oh, look at that. I have a knife. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah, you notice those giant uh, goldfish? Look at them. They're huge. I've heard about these fish. They produce a voltage and I can even they can even cause you to lose consciousness. That sounds like something that's gonna be handy. Someone's lived here for a while, it looks like. Great hideout from the darkness. If you don't like the darkness. Yes, that is very shocking. Haha. Hmm. <laughs> I just opened up a brisk iced tea. There we go. Gotta wet the whistle. So that's a collectible. Anything that looks out of shape, I just click on it because nine times out of ten, it's a collectible. So we got ourselves a fish figurine. I think we might be able to cut the net. No, we cannot. I need a paddle to sail in this boat. So we're going to go ahead and try to... Ooh, look, it's an octopus on the chest. Ah, so that's where our fish figurines have got to go. So we'll carry on. No, how do I knock down the support? Can I throw a boomerang at it? Ha 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 ha, nice. That worked out very well. I don't know the code. We need the code. And we can't sail away unless we get an oar. A telescope needs a lens. The rock crab in front is a morphing. Hello. Is that it? What the? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, thank you so much for shouting out the morphing object. Okay, now what am I doing here? Whenever I click it, it gets kind of confused. Let's see what it says here. Apparently I need to do this. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. I didn't even have it on here. There you go. It didn't even pop up. I forgot to have it on. Thank you for the follow. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. So, what the heck is in there? The water is too hot. Use a broomstick? No. Oh, maybe that's the code. Oh, Danby, Kim, that is a great idea. Let me see, was it actually a nine? Oh, it is. I think you win a prize. Nicely done. We know the code. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha, squeaky noises. Nicely done. Thank you so much for shouting that out. Uh, can we go inside? Yes, we can. Hello there, good sir. What brings ya? Oh. You're already awake. Hello, my name's Ray. I ran to get some medicine to bring you back to your senses. Hello, 
I'm Alice. I can't thank you enough. I can hardly remember what happened. How did you manage to rescue me from my uncle? Your uncle? I rescued you thanks to my little abilities. When I was a child, after I touched a strange stone, I was given peculiar powers. But to be honest, very rarely these powers listen to me. A stone? I think I know which stone you're talking about. There's a symbol on your arm. Didn't it appear after you touched the stone? No, there is no symbol. And is it possible for you to show me that stone? Of course. However, it is in the crypt. And we will need to get there by water. I have a boat, and I just need to repair the oar. I'll help. Meanwhile, I'll tell you my story. So if you missed it, a little while ago he saved the day and he was some mysterious person with abilities similar to our main character. So I'm kind of surprised that they... He basically said he doesn't have a mark on her arm because I know our main character does. That's kind of weird. I thought they were going to be like brother and sister or something. Whoa! That's a poker. What a handsome looking poker. I've already started to fix the ore. Would you like to give me a hand? Yes, he is a handsome one. What are we gonna do about that? Something... Like, he did save us, so... I've discovered these crates very recently. It would be great to figure out how to open them. They look a little rusty. It looks like I can open the box with a coin. Oh yeah, so so that is. It's like gold, silver, and bronze. Huh. Neato. Hi, free spirit. Hi, 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 hi. Hello. Let's see what we have over. Ew, cobwebs. But you know what? Broomstick to the rescue. <laughs> nice way to get the handle down. That was kind of awesome. The handle is missing! Good thing I just handled the handle. Oh, let's poke it. Oh, and that's the last of the five out of five. Don't trust the handsome man! He saved us once, is he gonna... not save us again? So I have a weight and a mug. I love this guitar music in the background. It's great. Ding 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 ding. So the whole premise of this series is that our character touched this egg and it gave her a superpower and then everything went wrong right after that and there's this bad evil person that's trying to hunt her down. Morphing objects. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're one third of the way into our morphing objects. Do you see a crypt in that rock? I hid the stone that gave me power over there. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and take care of this puzzle. Whoa. It's a string puzzle with forced positions. I see. We did it! Yay! Open says me. I've got a chain. I've got unusual key. Yeah, I think it was an egg or a stone, sh like a egg-shaped stone. And then she got this tattoo on her arm, and then she has this like phoenix that is her like protector. It's pretty cool. Unusual key. Like, look at how they just animated a bunch of random bugs here. They did such a nice job with this game. So I don't think this key is going to help us. We're going to basically need coins for that. Not entirely sure what we need to do this. I can make use of this broken rake and I'll be able to fix the paddle, but first I have to knock off the blade of the paddle with something heavy. How about a weight? Oh come on, a weight is heavy. A brick? Yeah, brick works too. Now I can assemble the paddle. Are we gonna use this rake head? No, we're not.
So we're, we still need an ore. Hmm. Let's go back and see what we can do back here. Can we get a mug? Yes, we can. We now have our gold coin. Let's go use our gold coin and see what's in here. Gold. It's a paddle. Of course it is. Of course it is. Now I think we use strong tape. Let's boogie. We have an ore and we're not afraid to use it. Go, go, go. Oh, and we have the key. And we have one out of three leaves for reasons. Oh, there's that's the same thing. Oh, it took her tattoo off. Wait, what? I knew it, Ray. This is similar to the stone I found as well. Take a look at my tattoo. What about it? It appeared just a bit. It seems that the stone partially restored my strength. Where did you find yours? The stone wasn't the only one. They were found in the desert by my father. And I was the only one to be affected by these stones. Since then, one of them has always stayed with me. Others were hidden in the village. Where is the village? Can we get there? Well, after we discovered the stones, our village was attacked by the Dark Warriors. It was destroyed, and those who weren't killed were possessed by the darkness. I am the lone survivor. And since then, you've been living here all alone? Do you think we could find those stones? They were hidden well. We can give it a try. Uh-huh! I see. All right, let's get out of here. Alice, we need to be extra cautious here. This is a dark territory. Their traps are all around. Yes, he has got those blue piercing eyes that just speak to my soul. He is way too handsome. Whoa, that looks like a trap. I need a carpenter to hook and attach the chain to it. Hello, we have part of a pigeon. There's something in the skull. I need to break it with my weight. And we have two out of three of those. Oh, look at these uh, animals over here. What's this? It's all dusty. I need to remove the dirt. Hello, little buddy. That's a wild fox. It's dangerous. It looks adorable, but it's dangerous. And what does it have around its neck? Good question. Huh. My village is across that river. Once it had crystal clear waters, and now it is a deadly poison. That's just horrible. I need the three pigeon figurines, and I only have one. Well, it looks like we're going this way. It is locked. In order to get to the bridge, we need to open these gates. Mm-hmm. We have to open the gates. Hello? We need a long pointy stick to get to that, do we? Oh, look at the crack in this tree. There is something in the hollow. I need to remove the bark. Need some broad object which could be used as a lever. Don't forget, we always have lovers of levers. Oh, I thought that was three out of three, but it is not. I think I should press these stones in a certain order. Hmm. Good question. Hello, morphing object. So we're not quite there with this yet. Oh, can we just go that way? Yes, we can. Behind ah. this cliff, there is a land unknown to me. It looks like there is only desert, conquered by the darkness, and nothing else. 
See, this is what I mean by the fact that this is a mixture of dystopian fantasy. Look, there's like basically an old car and a highway that way. That's cool. So I'm gonna need to cut that out of you, buddy. Sorry. Or not. It looks like these are not just skulls, but a cache. So... Oh, no. No such luck. A random tire in here. The wheel is heavy. I need a lever to move it. Got myself a brush. And the last of the pigeons. Danger, danger. I need a screwdriver. I don't think the knife will work. No. What is over here? Can I cut this down? Yeah, now we can make a broom. Something's buried there.